Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Julian Stout. I'm a world record powerlifter, licensed PE teacher, and certified personal trainer who uses mindset, encouragement, accountability, and nutrition to help you become the best version that you can be. Guys, before we begin, go ahead and click the like button, click the subscribe button, because without you, there is no me. So today's topic is courage. Now, why do I bring up courage? Because many of times, far too many of us are scared. We have a level of fear within us so great that we will do all that we can to not see the thing that we're very much afraid of. Now, the problem with that is the very thing that you're afraid of more likely than not is the very thing you need to get through in order to be successful guys i've had hip surgery about 10 weeks ago and let me tell you if you haven't been through any form of rehabilitation it's not easy somebody who is educated in rehabilitation, who have seen the journeys of many of people who have injured themselves or who have debilitating situations going on and seen the work that has been done and, and who has appreciated the hard work and dedication that they've put in to even become functional again, has to tell you that there's nothing like experience, all right? There's nothing like it because if you have been observing my journey on my shorts, go ahead, click on my um, short videos and you'll see the things that I do in order to accomplish a return to the athleticism that I had prior to injury. This is hard work. This is hard. And I want it bad enough. I want to get back to my full glory bad enough that I'm willing to go through it. I'm willing to go through it all. The pain, the, the, the moments of doubt, the intense level of demoralization at times when you realize that you're not where you used to be. I... I then realized the, the key component to who I am. Um, the late Kevin Samuels once said, you need to get punched in the mouth and taste your own blood in order for you to find out who you are. And let me tell you, my mouth is crimson. My nose is crimson. My eyes are swollen shut. And for some dumb reason, I'm still standing. All right. I'm 46 years old. I have accomplished things in the physical realm that many of people will marvel at. And yet, I'm fighting my way back through all of that to achieve that again. Make no mistake about it, I am going to recover fully. There's going to be little to no difference in my abilities. If not, you won't be able to see them. I am going to push to the next level so that I inspire you to push to the next level as well. I'm doing this not only for me, but I'm doing it for you to show you the courage in progression we have to progress in order for ourselves and our society to continue without courage there is nothing that you're going to accomplish because once you feel and experience a setback you're going to quit that is the number one component to every fail down there is the number one component to every fail down is a lack 
of courage. But we have to progress. My hip is bad, your knees are bad, shoulders are bad, back is bad. Whatever body part you're experiencing great traumatic pain through, it shouldn't be the deterrent for you to progress physically to the greatness that is you. You are supposed to be great. It, there's no getting around it. You're supposed to be great. Guys, you have to do the pie. You have to do the pie. You have to plan, initiate, and execute. The, the planning, the initiation, and the execution is all that matters. And you can even... You won't even have to eliminate courage, but you will have to have courage in order to do those three things because we're trying to fail up. We're never trying to fail down. We're always trying to fail up. And I'm telling you now, I fail daily. There's always something that I could be doing better that I am not doing better at the moment that I will do better in the future because I didn't take my education seriously at one point. I once told one of my students the other day and I pointed out to him that I failed biology and physics. I failed biology and physics in high school, period, full stop. There's no, there's no faking that. If you go through my transcripts, you will see a 55 on my transcripts in biology and in physics. And you know what? Guess what you need to be a competent personal trainer, athletic trainer, biomechanics, kinesiology major. Guess what you need? Biology and physics. Now imagine that. Because back then when those 55s were on my high school transcript, I had no courage. I didn't have the courage to progress. I didn't have the courage to fight my way through to the other side I saw that this was hard and I didn't like it when all the while I've been putting my body through hell in order to be the best version of myself physically imagine that so I didn't apply what I've learned in one realm into everything else I did not transpose my knowledge and because I didn't transpose my knowledge and I didn't transpose my courage I failed biology and physics until I realized that my success was not going to come without the hard work. I pushed myself mentally to get to the other side. And then once I got to college, I let personal, personal stresses affect me to where I did not progress again. I let it beat me down to the point where I walked away from my own path of success once I got out of the military I then fell through another setback but this time this time I was willing to climb out of the hole I was going to do any and everything that I could possibly do in order to be out of that hole except one thing and that was to go back to college and when the fight, when I tell you the fight that I had with my sister, not physical, but verbal, over the concept of education, it became more apparent that I needed to do it. And once I did it, I regret nothing. I have put myself in position after position after position to scale myself up due to my education and my continual growth in education and through education. Your courage is more than needed. I'm using me as the beacon to inspire you to be great yourselves. I'm not saying all of these things to personally brag because like I said, 
I fail daily. I do. I fail daily. And you're going to fail daily. You're going to fail every single day. If you embrace that knowledge, there's no way in the world that I should ever hear the words out of your mouth is, I quit. You may be done today, you may be done tomorrow, and you may be done the day God calls you home, but between that day and today, you should never, ever use the words, I quit. Now, before I go, I want you guys to do me a huge favor. I am trying to be more successful and be more successful here on this YouTube channel. So because I'm trying to be successful on this YouTube channel, it'll be a great service if you truly do like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends and family because this message needs to get out there. Not only the message of pies, but the message of 27. The message of 27 is simple. It is, there are 27 different body types out there. There's not just three. And you can fall within any of those 27. There is a standard. The standard is 27. Planning, implementation, planning, initiation, execution is also a part of it. These messages, along with a few others that I have on this channel, needs to be put out there for your family and friends and yourself to consume so that you can be the best you. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I am Stout.